back to my channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So in today's video I am going to be building a base game family farmhouse. This house has seven bedrooms and six bathrooms. It is quite large. Uh, it comes in at just under 250,000 simoleons, so it's definitely not a budget-friendly house, but it is base game only, so if you just have the base game or for some reason you just want to play with just the base game, um, this is a good house for you. Uh, so originally I just wanted to build a kind of a larger family home, and then I started to realize that what I was building was a little bit larger than I thought so then at one point I actually changed the name of this to be base game mansion and then I realized that it's much more of a farmhouse than a mansion um, so eventually the name just changed back to being just a farmhouse uh, so I went with kind of this like red and white with a little bit of black color scheme on the outside um, and yeah, so I wanted to, I think this is on a 30 by 40 lot. It's not like the largest lot or anything, so you know, it's a smaller farm. But uh, I'd like to think that the people who live here probably have been uh, in the farming game for quite some time and have made a lot of money from farming. Uh, so the backyard, which I actually don't film any of the landscaping outside, including the backyard, or... Uh, doing any of the floor plan stuff or the bathrooms inside because otherwise this video would have been way too long. Um, but so you'll see the backyard and the bathrooms and stuff like that in the screenshots at the end of the video. Uh, so definitely stick around for that. But the backyard has a tool shed. It has plenty of space to grow um, crops or just plants or whatever. Uh, there's like a nice little patio area for cooking out. Um, there's pretty much anything your Sims could want in the backyard. Um, and there's a very large plane flying over bed my house right now. Great. Perfect timing. Thanks, plane. Um, so anyways, so I wanted to try to challenge myself a little bit. I haven't done a base game only build in a while. And it's kind of fun because I feel like... I had this idea in my head that base game only builds are like super difficult to do and there there's definitely a challenge to them but like we have so much in the game now than what we did at first um, that in all honesty doing base game builds isn't totally well it is challenging but it's not it's not impossible let's say that it's not impossible to do a base game house um, I mean, this is definitely the largest base game house that I've had to do in a long time, but, uh, you know, I think I think it works out okay. Um, so in the living room here, I really wanted to try to include that piano, which oh, it still bothers me that the only pianos we have in the game are like baby grand style pianos and not upright pianos, because in all honesty, the animations aren't that much different, but if we could just have it take up a little bit less space that would be nice like why is that object so huge and it's nice for some places but you know uh, other times you just want a piano and it doesn't really fit either for design reasons or for physical space reasons um, so this house does have the piano but it's in the dining room instead of the living room um, and yeah, so there I am taking out a chunk of the dining room wall that, honestly, it was just going to be empty dead space anyways, so it works out okay. Um, but yeah, so the first floor of this house has a large living room area. I wanted to, since obviously this is a house that's meant for a lot of Sims, I wanted the living room to have like lots of space to sit down and relax. Um, and, you know, no one would feel like they have to like drag in a chair from the kitchen or something to find a place to sit down. Um, there's like an entry fireplace area that's kind of like off to the side, kind of behind where we are right now. So yeah, there are two fireplaces. Um, there's an office, there's a kitchen, there's a dining room, and then there are three bathrooms and a bedroom. Uh, so, and you'll see the bedrooms here in a couple minutes, but for the first floor, for one thing, I needed something else to fill in that space. Uh, and I also think it's kind of nice sometimes to have a bedroom on the first floor, especially for the sake of like realism for older, older Sims or people, you know, stairs are a young man's game and it's a lot easier to have it on the first floor. Like if you have like, you know, 
grandma living with you or something, then it just makes more sense. Um, I mean, obviously, elderly sims in this game, it doesn't really matter. They can climb stairs. <laughs> it's not a big deal, which I do kind of wish we had more stuff for elder sims. Like, it would be really fun if we, they brought back, like, canes and stuff, or, like, even brought in some newer things. Like, I really would like to have, like, I don't know, like, knitting or, or like, some of the stuff that we had in, I think it came out in the Sims 3 Generations expansion pack where it was like, they had rocking chairs or like, they could like, pull out pictures of their grandkids and like, brag about their grandkids to other Sims and things like that. It's just, it feels more realistic, more like family gameplay, like what I like to do. Um, but yeah, so now I'm just pulling out everything that I can to decorate the kitchen with, which it feels like some rooms in the base game there's a lot of like clutter items for and others it's like the same stuff over and over and over so like the kitchen i feel like we have a pretty good mix there's like a decent amount of stuff for the kitchen now the, obviously there are some things that i tend to use that come from other packs that we don't have in the base game but in general like obviously i was able to furnish this kitchen with basically no trouble at all um but then there are other things that i don't know i feel like when it comes to like bedrooms, we need more cluttery types of things, at least in the base game. But once you get into packs, then there's tons of stuff. But for the time being, it's just there's not there's not enough, I think. Um, so this is now the formal dining room, which I kind of liked having this like bump out area, although it did make it more difficult for me to figure out how to place the table and chairs. Um, and the bar as well because uh, I wanted this to be like You know kind of a house like if you're spending this much money on a house This house should have pretty much anything that your sims could possibly want in it um, So I do find a way to make it work, but it took me a little little, you know twisting and turning to get there um, and of course a lot of times when I'm building I have move objects turned on but then for something like this, then if you place the house without move objects turned on, you could end up like losing a dining room chair, and I didn't want that. So, turned it off, tried to find a spot where everything would fit, found a spot, then turned move objects back on again. Um, and I kind of, for the dining room, wanted to keep it like the, like the red and white and black theme that I had on the outside of the house. Obviously, I don't keep with that same color scheme throughout the entire house, because that's just a little bit much. Um, but yeah, so this is definitely like a very formal family dining room. Um, so yeah, this is a, it's a farmhouse, but it's like for wealthy farmers. <laughs> These farmers have been farming for quite some time and they've accumulated a lot of money. Um, so everything is very like traditional, like what you would expect from a farmhouse, but it's definitely like a high end farmhouse. Uh, also this little like side table thing from the base game. I don't know that I've ever used it in a build. <laughs> it's like, where? I mean, like, I know it's been in there since the base game first came out like, five years ago, but I've just never used it. So I thought this was a good opportunity to do so. So this is what I've decided to make into like the grandma's room. I mean, like, really, you could put any sim you want in here, but I sort of styled it to be more of like a grandma themed room. Um, so it's like, like a lot of like light purples and grays. It's very calming, very soothing. Um, honestly, I would probably like this room a lot in real life. <laughs> um, so, and of course, because this house is kind of on the large side, all of the bedrooms are pretty spacious. Um, and then you can kind of see a little peak of a bathroom off to the side. So grandma gets her own ensuite because you know, she deserves it. <laughs> Uh, all the bathrooms are basically the same. The only difference is that there's upstairs, there's a couple of Jack and Jill bathrooms. Uh, one of them is between the toddler's bedroom and one of the child's bedrooms. And that bedroom has a toddler potty for obvious reasons. And then the master bedroom is, or the master bathroom rather, is a little bit larger. So they have a separate shower and tub instead of the shower tub combo that we have everywhere else which I feel like I've said this before in a video I find it funny that like you can do some of the specialty baths in the standalone bathtubs but not the shower tub combo like I think this came out with spa day 
I want to say. But like you can do things like, you know, have like a lavender soak or a citrus soak or a rose petal soak. But you can only do that in standalone bathtubs. For some reason, you can't do it in the shower tub combos. So I don't know. It's strange. Uh, so this is the office. I originally was going to use the desk and the laptop and the bookcase that came with a recent base game update, but they're a little bit modern and contemporary looking. And since this is like, you know, where they would have like records of their farming and their, I mean, like it's a working farm is sort of what I designed this house to be. So I wanted it to feel like maybe this office has been around for quite some time. So I like that desk because it has like a bunch of like cluttery looking objects on it. And it just seems like something you would see in like a real life farm office. So I end up using the newer desk and all that stuff in one of the teenagers bedrooms upstairs. So this is now the nursery. It's attached to the parents bedroom. Obviously there's a baby crib in it. Um, and I wanted like for one thing I needed a, something else to fit in this spot and I was like you know what this could work we could have like where the baby has like its own sort of separate room but there's just a doorway between the two uh, there's no door so obviously in real life you would hear the baby crying but because this is the Sims uh, if the baby cries in the middle of the night it won't wake up your Sims so just be warned because <laughs> uh, sometimes Sometimes I like to play with the baby bassinet in the parents' bedroom, and then other times I'm like, you know what, I want them to sleep a little bit more, so no. Actually, what I used to do, especially, in, I think I used to do this a lot in The Sims 3, I don't know that I've done this in The Sims 4, but I would basically have the parents sleep in separate beds while they had like babies and toddlers and just put like a single bed in the baby's room or the toddler's room and then that parent was responsible overnight for taking care of the baby or the toddler which like probably didn't do great things for their marriage but at least one of the sims got some sleep that night and so like i would sort of alternate it too so like if you know, one of the Sims had like work the next day, then that Sim got to sleep in the room without the screaming baby. Or otherwise I would just have them like alternate and take turns. I don't know. It was it was a way that I made it work, but I haven't really done that in The Sims 4 very much. Uh, so this is the toddler room. I went with kind of like a neutrally green and blue color scheme in here, mostly because we have a lot of green and blue uh, objects in the base game for toddlers so it worked out well um, and I did put in the toddler room in the kid room those lights that turn off the monster under the bed thing because that's just annoying <laughs> like I know there is a way in MC command center to turn it off but I don't know I feel like that's one of those things where then I forget it sometimes and it for some reason it doesn't always stay turned off like if the mod gets updated for some reason that setting seems to not stay updated so I just you know just play it safe and just stick the light in anyways um, oh my god I just realized I just said anyways that's not a word okay I'm very tired you know I feel like I'm just constantly in a state of being tired right now and aside from having a three-month-old baby I really don't have a good excuse for that so apologies uh, so this is the kids room it's also kind of a greenish color scheme um i wanted to try to make it so that like you could have any combination of like male and female sims in this house and i know like you don't have to like stick with the traditional colors i will say that when i get to the teen bedrooms one of them is definitely more masculine and the other one is definitely more feminine but again like you know you do you whatever works um mostly it has to do with the fact that i'm trying to use like similar color schemes of things and when you're dealing with just the base game, we're kind of limited as far as like matching sets of items goes. Um, so this is a room for somebody who's maybe a little bit more into the like science side of things and maybe not quite super outdoorsy despite the fact that their wallpaper is like tall grass. Um, so you know, maybe it's kind of a nerdier kid of sorts. Um, but. Yes. Oh, so next to that, you can see that then there's that one Jack and Jill bathroom. And that's the one that I was saying before that has the toddler potty in it. Because that's one of those things, too, where sometimes when I'm playing, I like to put the toddler potty 
in the bedroom because for sake of the ease. But like realistically, do you really want to teach your kid how to like poop in a toilet not in the room with the real toilet? Like that just, I don't know, that seems silly. Uh, so this is one of the teen rooms. Um, oh yeah, I also used the laptop that came with the most recent update, which when I found out that they were doing that, for one thing, I wasn't totally surprised that they were patching it into the base game. I am a little surprised that they decided to patch it in after Strangerville because uh, we got laptops in Strangerville. So to me, it seems a little fishy that then all of a sudden we get them very similar laptops patched into the base game. It's like, well, there goes my some of my incentive to buy Strangerville then. Um, which, you know, I mean, I'll probably get it. I still personally don't have it yet. I'm waiting for it to go on sale. So when it goes on sale, I'll buy it. Um, but yeah, so this room is actually more of like themed like the outside of the house with like the red and the, this is more of like a dark brown than a black. But um, I sort of pictured like, you know, this is maybe more of like a teen boy room, but again, it's up to you. You do you. Um, and I also use some of those cool paintings that we got in the most recent update that are sort of designed to like lean up against the wall um, on the floor. And finally, we come to our last room of the house and this is the teen girl's bedroom. Um, so, and I, this is the room where then I end up using the new desk set and the new bookcase. Um, Oh yeah, I also put in one of the Lindsay smart speakers as well in this room. Like, when you think about it, we actually have gotten quite a few things patched into the base game. Like, even just in the last year alone. But especially, like, overall. I don't know, it's kind of fun to go back and think about all the weird stuff that's been put into the game. Or, like, how bare bones the base game was originally. Like, oh, what was it? I was thinking about something the other day and I was like, oh, right, we couldn't do that. Oh, it was eat raw fruits and vegetables. That literally had to be patched into the game because when The Sims 4 first came out, you couldn't eat a raw fruit or vegetable. Like, why the heck not? <laughs> I mean, and that, I think that that got patched in fairly early on, like within the first six months or so of the game being out. But like, it is kind of funny to think back at like all the different stuff that's been changed or added. Um, so yeah. Also, I like, I saw this in another video recently where they had the postcard collection on a, the bulletin board and I was like, you know what? I'm going to use those because I never have pen pals in this game. Never have. Or like, I'll start it and be like, oh yeah, this sim is going to have a pen pal and they get like one postcard and then I forget to ever write the pen pal back. So it's kind of like a pen pal in real life. Also, I wanted to put a couch in this room because personally, as a teenager, I really wanted to have a couch in my bedroom because I thought that seemed like a fun thing to have. You know, like you have your friends come over and you can like sit on the couch instead of having to sit on your bed or on the floor. I don't know. It just, it always seemed like such a cool thing for me. Um, but anyways, so uh, this is the base game farmhouse, obviously. No packs needed, no custom content. Uh, I would probably turn on move objects before you place it just because there's a lot of like decor and clutter items. I don't do anything like crazy, like meshing things together, like, you know, putting coffee tables on top of each other or that sort of thing. Um, but just so you make sure you get all of the decor items coming in the game as I intended them, uh, try to turn on move objects before you place it. But in all honesty, even if you don't, it's probably not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, so you can download the base game farmhouse on The Sims 4 Gallery right now. Uh, you can either click on what should be a link in the description box below, although I've realized recently that YouTube has stopped allowing links to outside sources, so might not be the best place. Um, but the other way you could find it is by searching on The Sims 4 Gallery for my origin ID, which is Mrs. Tomato 1018 or through the hashtag Mrs. Tomato 1018. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure you stick around to the very end so you can see the screenshots from the outside and the layout. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the video, oh boy, subscribe to the channel. There we go again. Uh, you can do so down below and I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!